Now I love a bit of indulgence every now and then and this chocolate biscuit pudding is my go-to dessert when I want to treat my friends and family and of course myself. First up we're going to heat this cream. We're going to make a lovely rich chocolate cream for the pudding. So gently heat the cream and once it's nice and hot and you see there's little bubbles forming on top just take it off the heat. I'm going to add some dark chocolate chips into this bowl and into this I'm going to add the cream that we just heated into these chocolate chips. Now gently stir this till the chocolate starts to melt and you get this lovely thick Okay, so our chocolate is melted and we've got this lovely thick rich ganache. Now we're going to leave this aside to cool and we're going to whip some butter with some icing sugar and then combine it all together later on to make a chocolate cream. So in this bowl I'm going to add some Noor Margarine, this is of course trans fat free. I'm going to take about half a cup and it's really good for your dishes. So now we need to beat this margarine. So I've got my electric beater here. Now into this I'm going to add some icing sugar. I'm going to slowly beat this all together. To this, we're going to add some cocoa powder to make it extra chocolatey. So you beat it again and you need to add a few more ingredients to this before we add our chocolate ganache. So I've got here a little vanilla essence, just about a teaspoon. And then we're going to add a little pinch of salt. So that's just about right. Now into this, we're going to add the lovely rich chocolate ganache that we made earlier, slowly. Now give it one last beat. Okay, and that's our chocolate cream ready. Now we're going to layer our pudding. For that, I have here some tea biscuits which I'm going to soak in milk, lukewarm milk. Now, once it's nice and soaked, I'm going to just place it in this mason jar. If you want to break it into two, just do so. So you can fill in the little gaps between. Now we're going to put a layer of our chocolate cream. Just spoon a big, generous, dollop of this and just smooth it down another layer of the biscuits now we've done our last layer of biscuits now you finish off the pudding with a lovely layer of chocolate give it a little swirl like this so it looks pretty and then we finish this off by sprinkling some toasted pecans on top. You could use any nuts. The pudding done. Now we need to leave this in the refrigerator for about four hours minimum. So now we do one final flourish of this lovely whipped cream, which goes right over the top. And you place a couple of raspberries, like so. And there it is, my chocolate biscuit pudding. It's pure indulgence at its very best.